you guys, it's Justin here again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set any game to a permanent state of high priority. So what that means is you're not going to have to alt tab out of your game to then change the priority class from normal to high manually. It's a little tweak that you do in reg edit. And that means every time you open up your game, it's going to be set to high priority permanently. Now I actually did a video on this very topic when I first started my channel about 3-4 months ago. But the reason I'm redoing it is because I actually forgot about this. And this method of putting your games into a permanent state of high priority actually gives you a nice little added advantage when you're playing CPU heavy games. Now an example of a CPU heavy game that released recently is Spider-Man Remastered. Um, it's very CPU intensive because obviously as you swing through the uh, the city of New York uh, the CPU has to make all the calculations of all the buildings uh, the pedestrians and the cars and you'll notice that whenever you swing over a big wide open space especially where there are a lot of trees there's a bit of a initially there's a bit of a drop in the FPS and your GPU usage goes from uh, from 100% to 80% because your CPU has to do all the calculations before your GPU can render the frames. So what it does by putting your game into high priority, it, it just gives your CPU a little bit of extra juice. So it alleviates uh, status in game and FPS spikes. But anyways, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is just press Windows key and R to open up the run box. And then what you're going to do is type in reg edit. Okay, press enter and then in the description of the video I'm going to put a code this code what you're going to do is you're just going to copy that code and you're going to paste it into this box over here so the, the in the description is going to be this code just copy that and then just highlight computer and then press paste so it's computer HQ local machine software Microsoft blah 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 blah, blah. enter and then it's going to open it or it's going to bring you to image file execution options so whichever game you want to put into high priority the executable file that launches the game that's what you're going to be putting in over here so under file execution options you're going to put in new key and then i'm going to put spider-man remastered into a permanent state of high priority so my executable is spider Iphone man dot exe. So now when I double click on the Spider-Man exe file that launches my Spider-Man game. So now that's the executable that you want to put into file execution options. So once you created your executable, just right click on it and then you're going to create another new key and you're going to call this perf options. Okay, and then in perp options, you're going to go new D word and you're going to put your CPU priority class. There we go. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to modify this and give it a value of three. Boom. So now what's going to happen is every time you open up um, a Spider Man Remastered or whichever game. You, you select it to put into a high priority it's going to it's, it's going to permanently be running in the high priority now right, so just to show you what it looks like and just to show you that the proof is in the pudding i'm going to open up spider-man remastered here quickly and then i press play and as we're booting into the game i'm just going to go out quickly and then i'm going to open up task manager and under details you can see priority C there it's automatically opening up under high priority right so guys uh, the reason yet again just to go over the details the reason why you want to put CPU heavy games into a constant state of high priority is because it's just going to alleviate some stuttering and it's going to give you slightly better performance and less FPS spikes and stuttering Anyways, guys, that's today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope it has been helpful. And I hope 
and pray that you smash that like button and if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet please consider destroying that sub button just hit it smack it sub to the channel let's get this ball rolling anyways guys thanks for watching have a good day it's people like you cheers